Have you ever felt there is something which is always surround you and sometimes you also felt the something within you but then you don't know what it is let's try to understand what that is stay with me on verse 14 of tao teaching hi welcome to oneness today is day 14 and we will be looking at verse 14 from tao te ching and before we begin let's observe few seconds of silence thank you so now let's look at verse 14 from tao te ching look it cannot be seen it is beyond form listen it cannot be heard it is beyond sound grasp it cannot be held it is intangible these three are indefinable therefore they are joined in one from above it is not bright from below it is not dark an unbroken thread beyond description it returns to nothingness the form of the formless the image of the imageless it is called indefinable and beyond imagination stand before it and there is no beginning follow it and there is no end stay with the ancient tao move with the present knowing the ancient beginning is the essence of tao the verse 14 it is as mystical as lord su himself lord su in verse 14 talks about a mystical nature of the tao and he plays with words which we can understand that it is not comprehensible with our normal senses or not understandable with the way we try to understand things with the data and intellectual thoughts instead it is beyond the thoughts is what he tries to explain and uh, let's go in deep and try to understand what lord su would have meant look it cannot be seen it is beyond form so here i relate the sentence or this line as air how we cannot see the air but we know the air is around us all the time listen it cannot be heard it is beyond sound i relate this with soft space it is of absolute silence which we cannot hear grasp it cannot be held it is intangible like a water we cannot hold the water and squeeze it in our palms it will overflow it is formless these three are indefinable therefore they are joined in one by these lines lord su talks about the very nature of the tao which is beyond the form beyond the sound and beyond being tangible so that is the nature of the tao from above it is not bright from below it is not dark and how do i see this sometimes we relate brightness as light and we relate as good and also sometimes we relate dark as negative and bad whereas the nature of the tau is such way that there is nothing called good or bad it beyond the darkness and beyond the light it is beyond all this classification which we human being brought in it is beyond all an unbroken thread beyond description it cannot be described in any ways that we want to it is not expressible it is like a meditation when we go deeper into the meditation when we reach a point where we are absolutely thoughtless timeless and unbound with anything that around us it is a state of that and we cannot describe that state to anyone it is something that we felt we cannot put it into words 
and we can explain to someone. So it is beyond description. It returns to nothingness, the form of the formless, the image of the imageless. It is called indefinable and beyond imagination. So the nature of Tao is that it is cannot be defined or imagined. So when we look at the cosmos itself, we know that only 4% of observable universe is what we can see right now. It is cannot be comprehended with our own intellectual mind or with our senses. It is beyond all those realms. It is formless and imageless. And the best part what I like about here is the form of the formless. So when we look into the deep space, sometimes when we see the stars and planets and galaxies as a scattered and chaos. However, we all know that it also forms a pattern in a way. When there is a one image that I have seen, when scientists collected the, all the images of the different galaxies in observable universe and then they created a pattern, it is like a beautiful flower that comes out in a spiraling in nature, but it is still has a form. But then when we observe it too closely, all we see is chaos and formless. And that is the nature of the Tao. So now let's look at the last paragraph of verse 14. Stand before it and there is no beginning. Follow it, there is no end. Stay with the ancient Tao. Move with the present. So here, Lord so clearly talks about the infinite being of the universe or the cosmos. So there is no beginning and there is no end. We cannot go to the beginning and pinpoint saying this is the beginning. Or we cannot go to the end and say this is the end. It is endless. It is infinite. And that's what the nature of the universe, such is the nature of the Tao. So stay with the ancient Tao, move with the present. So that we have to stay with the Tao and move with the present. That means instead of like, you know, making things that, oh, the past and the future stay in the present moment. Understand and be with one with the present moment. And that way we align ourselves with Tao. Knowing the ancient beginning is the essence of Tao. So in this line, Lotso clearly talks about how when we align ourselves with an invisible mystical force that surrounds us and also within us, we are aligning ourselves with an infinite being, with one single consciousness which ever exists and will ever be. And that way we, we align ourselves with the nature of Tao. So, when we see ourselves as an infinite being, we also will see the others as an infinite beings. And that brings into a, a one thought that I was having this morning. There are two better ways to live. One is either we have to see ourselves as a God or the other way we see everyone else as God. Either way, we cannot go wrong. When we see ourselves as God, we have a godly nature. There is no room for anger or disappointments and happiness or ego. Likewise, when we see everyone else, every single thing and every single being as God, we respect deeply and treat them well. So either way, we will be in abundance of love and that way we will be one with the nature. So that's what the essence of the Tao and from verse 14. So with that, we come to the end of verse 14 and day 14. And one actionable thought for today is, as the day go by, as we interact with things, as we see, as we hear, as we feel, try to be as much present as possible. When I say present, though we might be seeing, for an example, you're watching this video, Beyond what you see, is there anything else that you can feel? There is an obvious thing, but then can we see beyond that? Even if you are in a complete silence, what we can hear beyond the silence? And even when we touch and feel things, can you go a little more deeper and with complete being present 
with that moment so that is the actionable thought and i like to end this video with a quote which i read from another book change your thought change your life and i like to read that for you and this quote was written by rumi every tree and plant in the meadows seem to be dancing those with average eye would see a fixed and still what a beautiful line it is so the rumi says every tree and plants are actually dancing but to our human eyes we fail to observe the dance so likewise when we get deeper in the present moment we see things which is beyond the obvious and that way we can be one with nature one with tao and we even be one with our own self so with that let's conclude for today see you tomorrow